I was at a dinner party and someone had stunk up the bathroom. And my brother-in-law at the time said, can bathroom odor be trapped? We were just kind of like, what can you do about that? And it's like, it's like my body became electric. I work with essential oils as a hobby and I saw, oh my God, oil floats on water. Like I can do that. So then I go back and I start researching and studying and mixing, like I'm literally mixing in my kitchen every single day. Nobody thought it was a good idea at all, but I had to test it. So my husband at the time pooped three times a day, <laughs> which was a godsend, I still thank him today. And then when people would come over to my house, you know, family and friends for dinner, you know, we'd be at dinner and I'd be like, do you gotta go to the bathroom? Like the, everybody thought I was insane. But every time it would work just a little bit better, a little bit better, and I kept getting better at the science of it, you know. Oh, it needs to hover on the water. So I'm like this mad scientist. And my husband walks out of the bathroom one day, and he's holding the product. He looks like he saw a ghost. He goes, oh my God, we're going to be millionaires. You've taken the smell out of shit. So I ran in there, I smell, you know, and this time it worked. I'm like, thank you. So then I sent it out to a few friends and said, are we crazy or is this amazing? It's like having that secret that's too good to keep to yourself. Because I had sworn after my second bankruptcy to never go back in business. I made business the bad guy, but then you have that next child, you know, you have that alive thing and I'm like, okay, here we go. And that's how Poopree started. Now, I just want to play and create a product and it doesn't matter, you know, Poopree is 12 years old. It's been 12 years, you know? And yeah, people are like, oh, it's a phenomenon, it's amazing. It's like, yeah, but we grew really slow, methodically, stockpiling a bunch of cash, and I own 100% of the company. Okay, now we have the world talking about poop. What else can we get people to talk about? You know, it's like, can we, talk about female empowerment? Can we talk about what happens in the workplace? So I'm always kind of visioning out where the brand can go. And I have a lot of people around, they're like, well, is this what is within the brand? So it's really a balance between what my internal vision is and also what how much the company can handle. Because I've lost everything before, so I don't want to play it safe. I don't want to not have fun so that people think we're okay and so I protect the brand. You know, I'm the person that comes in and goes, let's do this, and then I compromise with our team. And then I love to bring people together. And then it's like, and they always are challenged to do something they never thought they could do. It doesn't matter whether people believe in your idea. If you have that knowing within your body, you can come up with an idea like a poop spray. It can become iconic and you can actually change patterns and you can change yourself in the process. That's it, global poo domination. <laughs>